What's up guys, this is Justin again, and I had a idea for all of you, which was to create a, shall I say, 6S log or error log, like that kind of thing to tell you what the operation was completed and what the last operation was. So here we need to do So, as we want it to be at the bottom this time. So then, up here we do get it. editor pane, editor, editor pane. So now that we have our editor pane created, So, they're sitting pretty good there. This is actually for me. another project I was working on with a paper feeder. And this is just the, this is sort of a help request, shall I say. Someone asked me about doing that, and I will get some video of this working up eventually, but I'm not going to do that right now. And look, there's that good for you. And then this is our feed sheet button. And then, yeah, so if that, so now what we want it to do is starting up. Actually, do I want to do that? No, we're just going to do it individually. So here we are going to do editor.set text. We're going to put move forwards. Oh, and we have to do editor set background. And then we do down here editor.set text failed to complete operation. Oops, my bad. So then we want to, we are going to copy paste this into our code down here quickly. And then we have to do I'm actually going to copy and paste this and then just change our string text. So it should be all we need. So then, when we push forward, down here, if you notice it pops up, and it says move forwards, 
stopped motion, back, moved backwards, stopped motion, turned right, turned left, right feed sheet, sent paper, and then disable robot, ports closed. Oh, that's right, because it's not catching an exception. So, what we're going to do I'm going to think this through really quick and I will be right back. So after thinking about it for a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to is we're going to add a few if statements in here. If having in here. Oh yeah, that's right. So then what we want to do is if not closed. There we go. So this is really what you want the whole operation to do. Here, what we need to do is try well, close equals true. And actually, we are back to changing this here. That should all that should be the trick. So now there we go. That's what I wanted it to do is so basically so what it is is that if our well, I guess we could change that quick too. So what we could do is we could change it to ports Yeah, we're gonna change it to this. There we go. So now, now <clears throat> excuse me, now this should be sitting where we want it to be. So naturally forward, backwards, stop, turn right, turn left, feed sheet. Disable robots. So stop, ports are closed, restart application to continue. I mean, you can make them all different colors if you wanted to, so like, 
there you go. If you want it to be like a right turn is blue and a left turn is orange, I mean we can let's make this a different color so it's not a failure color dot. Let's actually do orange. You can do the old control space trick to uh, change it up. Oh, yeah, I wasn't thinking there. And that should be all it takes. So, if we would have a failed operation, this stop, turn right, turn left, blah, 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 disable our, oh, disable our robot. So now we are a orange yellowish looking color that just tells us that there's something else wrong so that's kind of a basic way to create a message log for what our robot is doing so if you've enjoyed leave a like comment if you got questions hit me up in the comments I'll do my best to answer them and thank you for watching